Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm gonna do it off for you. Come along and see us. Okay, so today I've got a pretty cool guide. I'm gonna show you one of the best submachine gun uh, classes you can currently run. Really OP. So to stay tuned for that, I'm going to get into full detail about hip fire, aim and down sights, main stuff you should be having on that class at the same time, and there's a whole lot of stuff. Okay, so okay, we're going to sort of start after the class. So at the moment, I'm just in a uh, custom game. So to go create a class, so it is the the Damon 3XB. Um, <clears throat> so this, um, I've made two custom settings, uh, one with an optic sight, which is obviously Elo, which is really really good. And then once again, you've got one without it, but what that allows you to do, obviously you can see over here, I've got no equipped gear, but I've still got three perks allowed. The perks that I'm running on both of them is not that you have to use these, like the best ones you can use, is uh, Scavenger as your number one perk. Uh, Gung Ho, uh, not lightweight, surprisingly. I I've used lightweight between Gung Ho, and I really do prefer and think Gung Ho is a bit better. Uh, and that's on perk two, but uh, it's preference, you know, you could just use lightweight. On perk three, using dead silence. Um, this is a bit of a. You can either use ghost or dead silence. I do prefer dead silence when you're running around a lot. When you're doing a lot of running, obviously, be a lot of noise. Uh, so yeah, custom one is the exact same, except I'm able to keep the stim shot. Um, just a little helpful reminder if no one knows this or new people. Um, to actually heal yourself in game, you don't actually need anything in that. So, just so you know that. Anyway. So we're just going to get into a game, and then we're just going to have a quick look at the uh, the hip fire, and then uh, we'll just take one difference between ELO sight and actually having no sight. So we'll get back to when we're actually in the game. So first off, this is where I'm going to be starting. I'm going to be on my back back here, and be aiming down sights using two clips on either side. So I'm going to use ELO sight, and then I'm going to switch over to no sight. So we're just uh, roughly see what it's roughly like. This is me fully coming down. So that's one, I'm going to move over a bit, there we go. So we just run in. So that's the pattern I got. And this side pattern was a bit better for some reason. Now we'll check out the no standard, standard sights. So this time, I'm going to be uh, using this a normal sight. And here we go again. That's one clip, I'm going to move over to the right a bit. It definitely shoots itself up, I've noticed. There's something big about it. So as you can see, they're a lot more wider without it. Right here. So obviously closer range is a lot better, but long range definitely does distant out. But the ELO sight is definitely, definitely a must. That's what, at least what I would say when it comes down to it. I'm going to get back out of here and get back into a real game so I can see the problem. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs> So, okay guys, as a recap, I would say that the the attachments you want are rapid fire, hybrid mags, high caliber, number one, and a ELO sight. Now, I wouldn't say really you want a high caliber uh, the second stage. Uh, you don't really need it. You're more after the headshots because the gun does naturally shoot uh, shoot up on the, on the actual recoil. So, I'd say just have the first one. 
the hybrid mags don't go for fast mags which is just above uh, because the hybrid mags is a fast reload and it gives you more ammo which is very useful with this gun and then rapid fire obviously more 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 fire more more fire more more fire but really yeah rapid fire let's do it so overall uh, this is my setup that I'm currently using for the double XP Nuketown map only uh, it's just uh, it's the 26th today so it's Nuketown double XP double weapon XP so it's perfect for that I'd, uh, with the gear you can choose whichever one you want now I'm using body armor it's debatable really what you should have but that's down to you once again so scavenger gung-ho you could try out the, the what's it you could try it lightweight but really I think gung-ho is better but once again it's a preference um, so yeah guys if you enjoyed um, let me know let me know in the comments what you think what did I do wrong what did I do right uh, I really appreciate some sort of feedback uh, even a like and even a subscribe uh, subscribing really would help me out but uh, I'll leave it there guys I really hope you enjoyed and I'll uh, try and make some bit more a couple more videos I've got a couple more decided so yeah cheers for everyone that's watched and appreciate it see you later guys have a good one